Hello, everybody. Today we are going to present our work, Europal ST, a multilingual corpus for the speech translation of parliamentary debates, accepted to the ICASP 2020 conference. My name is Javier Iranto Sanchez, and I have developed this work jointly with my colleagues, John Albert, Javier, Nahuel, Adria, Albert, Jorge, and Alphonse. We are all members of the MLLP Research Group from Universidad Politécnica de Valencia. This will be the table of contents for the presentation. We will begin with the introduction, followed by data collection and processing. Then we will show you some experiments and we will end up with conclusions and future work. As we have said, uh, our contribution consists in the release of a new resource for spoken language translation, also known as speech translation. And our main uh, goal with the release of this work was to um, try to help with a very significant uh, problem that is happening right now in speech translation research. And that problem is that we currently lack data. So speech translation data is very expensive, very difficult to annotate. We need to transcript and translate uh, audio data. And this uh, is uh, very um, relevant in languages other than English. So in the case of English, you can still find uh, some resources, but if you move outside English as source language, you find almost nothing. So uh, therefore, in order to uh, be able to help alleviate this problem, which currently is uh, holding back uh, progress in speech translation, we decided to uh, collect and release a new resource. This resource consists in a series of uh, interventions carried out in the European Parliament from the year 2008 to 2012. And the corpus consists of a series of triples. So we have speech, we have the audio signal, we have the official transcription of what has been said, and we have the translation of that transcription. And uh, this is available across six different languages. So we have uh, audio data for Spanish, for English, for German, for French, Italian, and Portuguese. And then as target language, we have also those six languages. So for each uh, audio, language, we have the other five languages as translation target. Therefore, in total, we have 30 language pair combinations available. The corpus has been released under a Creative Commons license and can be freely accessed on the link provided on this slide. In terms of data collection and processing, uh, well, we have organized the corpus into what we call speeches. So speech is an intervention by a single member of the EP parliament. And they are around 100 seconds on average. And out of those speeches, uh, we wanted to make sure that we provide uh, data that has a good enough quality to be able to be used as a benchmark for progress in speech translation. Therefore, it is necessary to carry out filtering in order to get uh, data that has been labeled and transcribed correctly. Some of the problems we find is that we have overlapping timestamps. So for some speeches, uh, we also get parts of the previous or of the following speech. And in some cases, uh, there is a, a significant difference between what is actually being said and what has been recorded in the official transcript. In order to fix this, we carry out a two-step process. First, we use speaker diarization, to remove overlaps with other speeches. And then uh, we follow this by carrying out a second step where we recognize using an ASR system each of the speeches. Then we compare this uh, hypothesis with the official transcription and we filter out those uh, speeches that have a very uh, large difference measured with the character error rate. 
So here on the bottom half of the slide, you can see the different amount of data after each step of the process. For example, for German, we start with 200 hours, then after speaker dialysations, we have 149, and then after filtering out uh, those noisy speeches, we end up with 44 hours. And those 44 hours have a character error rate of 10.7. We also provide alignments at uh, smaller uh, at smaller elements, in this case at, uh, let's say, sentence or segment level, which could be useful to train acoustic or, for example, machine translation models. Therefore, we provide also a more fine-grained uh, annotation. For this, we need to carry out alignments. We carry out a audio to text force alignment to obtain timestamps for each of the words. We also carry out a text to text uh, sentence alignment to be able to align the transcription with the different translations. And in the case of very long uh, seg sentences or segments, we also carry out an intra sentence alignment. Then we are left with the following, and as you can see on the table, for example, for English as a source language and German, Spanish, or French as target language, we obtain between 89 and 87 hours. Please keep in mind that although the audio is the same, in some cases, uh, for, uh, for example, uh, this is more evident on the English case, so for example, on the French to English on the lower part of the table, you can see that from French to English, we have 38 hours available, whereas from French into German or French into Spanish, we have only 25. This is because uh, for a small subset of speeches, we find problems of, for example, missing translations. So in the case of the French to English, for some of the years, only the translations into English were available. That is why French into English has 38 hours and the other ones have 25. And also some, in some speeches, the alignment fa uh, fails for a small subset of target languages. That is why even though the audio is the same for a single source language, we do not have exactly the same uh, subset of aligned data. Now we will talk about the experiments. So as we said, our goal is to uh, use Eurobar ST as a benchmark for uh, future developments in speech translation. And we also want to prove the usefulness of the training data for other tasks, such as domain adaptation. In this case, uh, we have evaluated the ASR systems using the standard word error rate metric. And for uh, machine translation and speech translation, we have evaluated using the BLE measure. In the special case of speech translation, since there are uh, many cases where the, due to segmentation, the number of lines on our hypothesis is different from the number of lines on the reference, we carry out a standard uh, step in speech translation which consists in resegmenting our hypothesis using the M word segmenter. In terms of ASR experiments, we have trained acoustic models using out of domain training data. We, we use uh, between 700 hours in the case of French to 5,600 hours in the case of English. And we have used this to train hybrid DNN HMM models. We also train language models using uh, out-of-domain training data. We train a series of n-gram and recurrent language models, and then we do interpolation. And we evaluate uh, how do these systems perform on the Europar ST test set. And this is shown on the table at the bottom of the slide. And as you can see, the best results are obtained for Spanish, where we get between uh, 14 and 15 ble. And uh, keep in mind that uh, the rows represent the source language, all right, the uh, audio language, 
and then the columns represent which is the target language. So in this case, since we are only doing ASR, the target language uh, only holds meaning for knowing which is the subset of uh, speeches that we have to recognize. As we previously said, since we have in total 30 different language directions, we have a total of 30 uh, different test sets. Although in this case, since we are only doing ASR, we are only going to uh, stop. We are going to stop at the ASR part and we are not going to ask the system to translate. Now, in terms of empty uh, experiments, uh, here we take as input the reference uh, transcriptions and we have trained a series of uh, uh, standard transformer machine translation uh, models uh, following the transformer base uh, configuration and we carry out a two-step training. So first we train with uh, out of domain data between 20 and 40 million uh, sentences. We have obviously excluded the Europal data from this uh, set and then once this uh, first uh, phase of training finishes once the system converges then we carry out fine tuning uh, with the Europal ST training data by uh, continuing uh, training using only this uh, in-domain data. So on the table at the bottom of the screen you can see the results of this task and we have also shown between parentheses the results of the fine-tuned system. As you can see, in almost all cases, the fine-tuned system uh, provides a very significant improvement over the baseline. In fact, this happens in all, uh, in all uh, cases. And with this, we have shown how the provided uh, training data can be used to adapt an out-of-domain system to the specific domain of parliamentary debates. And now we move into speech translation experiments. So uh, for this, we will carry out speech translation following a cascade approach. So we will first have an ASR system, which will uh, provide transcriptions, and then we will give these transcriptions as input to the empty system. Previous to this, we will carry out a segmentation of the audio of the audio data using a voice activity detection system that will split the signal into chunks. Then these chunks are recognized by the ASR system and the transcription of each chunk is given as input to the empty system. And then we evaluate against the reference translations. Here are the uh, results of the speech translation task. And as you can see, they are much lower than the ones presented on the previous table. This is due to the fact that there are two uh, relevant source of errors. The first one being the mistakes that have been produced in the ASR uh, step and that cannot be recovered by the empty system and also uh, errors due to the segmentation of the audio signal. So uh, the segmentation given by the voice activity detection system might not be uh, semantically uh, significant for the empty system and this might make the uh, translation harder. To sum up, we have introduced a new resource that can be used to benchmark uh, progress in speech translation. And we have shown how the released uh, data can be useful not only for a simply evaluating system, but also for uh, other tasks such as domain adaptation. In terms of future work, we plan on incorporating uh, additional official languages of the European Parliament to this uh, corpus. We plan to revisit the filtering pipeline in order to be able to recover more data. And we also want to explore the possibility of uh, using this corpus as a uh, fully multilingual resource. That will be all. Thank you for your attention.